Hi, Nash Icon. This is Tony. Tony, it's Charlie Daniels. How are you, buddy? Hey, Charlie. Good to hear from you again. I believe good we ta- to be talking to you again. Yeah, I believe it was two years ago we talked last time uh, you rolled through through Iowa, and now you're coming back again. We are indeed. We're like a bad penny. We just keep showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, Charlie Daniels Band performing at Hoyt Sherman Place in Des Moines Friday, March 29th. That is coming up quick. Charlie, i got to ask, have you ever played the Hoyt Sherman Place Theater before? You know something, man? I have played so many places that I've got to the point now that the only time that I am sure whether I've been to a venue or haven't been to a venue is when I get there. I always remember the venues after I get there. But trying to just remember a name, because I've played so many places and so many towns that I've been to that I've actually done several different venues in the area so I'll let you know <laughs> sure. I'll let you know after I get on stage okay well I tell you it, it's going to be one of those where you will remember it it's it's kind of got a smaller feel and the audience just feels like they're right up on stage with you and and as a audience member the acoustics in there are phenomenal sounds like fun for sure whenever you go out on the road it seems like iowa is is always a stop on the way what, what is it that you love about iowa and performing in iowa charlie well it's uh it's kind of middle america we're middle america we play middle america music we've been playing it for years and years some of the earliest uh, tours that we did had stops in iowa we just it's just been a regular stop for us for good gosh 50 years now or four, well, 45, let's put it like that. Well, we certainly are glad you always include us. We love to have you come back, Charlie. We love coming. Thank you. Of course, we're talking to Charlie Daniels on the phone. And, uh, Charlie, you have got one of those iconic looks. Somebody sees a picture of Charlie Daniels, they know it's Charlie Daniels. You got the hat, you got the fiddle, and, of course, beards are really popular now. You've always had the beard, right? I mean, throughout your whole career, did you ever go sing beardless? I have had this beard since... uh I tell you what, I can't remember the exact year, but I played uh, on a Ringo Starr album in Nashville one time called Boo Boo's the Blues, and they put the band's picture, the studio musician's picture, on the back of the album, and I had just started this beard. It just started booming. <laughs> so I could actually find out the year if I had the album in front of me. It was sometime in the early 70s. I, I don't know the exact time, but sometime in the early 70s. So I've had it for a long, long time. Well, I tell you what, Charlie, I've been growing my beard out for about almost a year and a half now. And so I want to know, do you got any tips for me, tips on keeping a great looking beard? You know, mine don't get real long. And I don't, of course, I don't even try to get it long. Just uh, trim it off. And my wife trims mine for me. And it just, uh, it, mine, t- mine starts looking like a, a fuller brush after a while if I don't keep it trimmed. <laughs> <laughs> so. My wife trims it every once in a while, and you know, just just keep it trimmed and keep it clean, and it's uh, you have a great beard. <laughs> I, I've been uh, growing mine out, and uh, some would accuse me when I put my sunglasses on. They they say that I look like I could be in a in a band of some friends of yours. ZZ Top. I've been accused of that. Well, you must have a long beard. <laughs> Those guys reach the floor almost. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned your wife trims your beard. How does your wife feel about it? Does she is she cool with it? Oh, she loves my beard. I, I said a while back. It's been several years ago, and I said, I think I'll shave my beard off to what I look like under it. And her and my son both said, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> so I haven't. I'm going to leave it on there. So I, get, I don't know what I look like. Maybe I probably don't want to know what I look like under <laughs> Maybe I'm better just keeping it. You've been married for, for over 50 years now, right? Almost 54. We'll be 54 in September. 55 you, in September, I'm sorry. Do you got any, any tips on having a long-lasting marriage like that? Marry somebody you feel like you want to wake up with the rest of your life. Uh, anything less ain't going to work out, you know. Uh, somebody you, you want to... I spend 24 hours a day with my wife a lot of times. I mean, we're, she travels with me. And other than me, you know, going and working at night, that's about the only time we're separated. And it's uh, somebody you feel like you really want to be around all the time, literally all the time. And, uh, you know, if you... If if you don't, then you're going to be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. Uh, I appreciate those words of wisdom from the great Charlie Daniels. We're talking to, of course, Charlie Daniels Band, Friday, March 29th. Hoyt Sherman Place here in Des Moines. Charlie, you mentioned your son just a, a second ago. Around the station and around uh, the area here, I'm known as the bad dad joke guy. And uh-huh. uh, I hate to put you on the spot here, but do you have any bad dad jokes in your repertoire? I really don't. I never thought about bad dad jokes. Uh, no, I don't. I really don't. I, I, in fact, it's kind of a 
it's kind of an obscure, <laughs> <laughs> kind I, of an obscure sort of subject, really. You know? Yeah, yeah. Can I tell you one? Sure. Why do chicken coops have two doors? I don't know. Because if they had four, they'd be chicken sedans. Oh. It's still weird. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, Charlie, when we talked a couple years back, you said uh, in the off time, uh, sometimes you like to get out and uh, hit the golf balls. You still doing that? And if so, how's your golf game? Uh, uh, my golf game is, is, as it always has been, is horrible. Uh, I found out a long time ago, I am not going to be a good golfer. So I just quit keeping score, you know? I just go out and hit the ball. If I knock it in water, I put another one down and hit it. I forget about what the score is because I'm not making a living doing that. I'll leave that to Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson. <laughs> they can't play fiddle. I can't play golf. So there you go. Hey, Charlie, tell me a little bit about your book, Let's All Make the Day Count. I believe it's in its second printing now. Uh, tell me a little bit about that yeah. book. It's uh, kind of an inspirational sort of book. It has it's It's got 100 readings in it. Uh, I have been doing for many years on my on my social media. I've been doing a thing called "Let's All Make the Day Count." I have things I do on on social media every day. I I put up a Bible verse. Uh, I put up a thing called "Let's All Make the Day Count." I'll say something like, "If you can't find what you want, take what you can get, make what you want out of it." Let's all make the day count. Uh, and I'll do a, a prayer and. Several things. That, there's about five things that I do. I remind people that 22, 22 veterans commit suicide every day, and that we should pray for our policemen, and that Benghazi ain't going away. And I, I do that every day and have for years. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, so anyway, it's kind of a it's, it's it's a daily thing with me. And after I wrote my biography of the the Never Look at the Empty Seats biography, the, the publishing company wanted me to do what they were calling a gift book. Which I was, uh, I knew what it was, but I didn't realize I knew what it was. I come to find out, it's a, it's a, one of the small books. It's kind of a, a thing that's easy to pack that maybe you read every day for inspiration or whatever. So I did one, and uh, it's called, you know, let's all make day count, and it's about, it's all about encouragement, uh, lessons to learn, and that sort of thing on a daily basis. Charlie, I, I really appreciate your your honesty and your openness there, and and your openness. On Twitter, you've got close to a million followers. You got the blue verified check mark there, and, and that's really you on Twitter, isn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, the only thing that's on Twitter that is not me, if something is tagged Team CDB, and it's it's, it's informational. My son does that. He, he uh, if we have something happening or a new piece of merchandise or or a record coming out or it's an anniversary of something like. Uh, if uh, a song's going to be 35, 40 years old or something since it's been released, he'll put that on there. And he tags it Team CDB. But anything else on there is me. I, I will not allow anybody else to do uh, anything else on my website. On my, well, on my Twitter account. Count me among your uh, almost a million followers, Charlie. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thanks a bunch. Hey, seems like every other day someone else is throwing their uh, hat into the ring for... Uh presidential candidacy any chance uh, you want to announce right now your candidacy i want to announce my, my intentions next year to good lord willing coming back and playing in iowa again charlie uh, amen to that <laughs> as a fiddle player <laughs> no i could not do that i couldn't be i'd, I'd get run out the first day i'd i'd get so you know i can't i can't put up with that kind of what i call them one-eyed jack <laughs> you know people that you don't ever see the other side of their face and they stand there and tell lies and stuff. I can't do that. You know, I, they'd run me off first day, you know, for, for, for being truthful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you you are truthful, and I appreciate that. Charlie Daniels, of course, is who we're talking to here on 92.5 Nash Icon. Charlie Daniels Band playing Friday, March 29th, Hoyt Sherman Place in Des Moines. Charlie, I'm going to let you go, but before I do, every week on my Facebook uh, page, I do something fun. I host a, an online happy hour, if you will, where uh, everybody just answers a simple question, and, and the answers range everywhere from water to milk, coffee, tea, sodas, cocktails, wine. So, Charlie, my last question for you today is, what you drinking tonight? Well, you know what? Let me tell you what I drank today, which will probably be a surprise to you. Uh, you would think that I was a heavy coffee drinker. I actually drink Irish breakfast tea every morning when I get up. Instead of coffee, which surprises a lot of people, actually. I don't know. I, li- I like tea, so. 
Oh, well, too, but I mean, you, most people think, boy, hey, he, he's heavy coffee drink, you know, <laughs> being old red lick like I am and all. But yeah, I do. I love, I love uh, Irish breakfast tea every morning. I have it. My wife has coffee. I have tea. Charlie, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to, to give us a call, and, and we look forward to seeing you Friday, March 29th, Point Sherman Place in Des Moines. Charlie, thank you so much again. Good talking to you again, my friend. God bless. God bless you. Take care, Charlie.